Hi everybody, it is January 13, 2018. So, this strike alert in Hawaii sent out over the TV, the sirens going off, and sent to smartphones, iPhones. It was a strike alert that a ballistic missile was incoming and the alert was sent out with a message, this is not a drill. This is not a drill. And it took them 40 minutes, 40 minutes to alert the residents and those who were vacationing in Hawaii that it was a false alarm. 40 minutes? And you're going to tell me that that is a mistake, human error? when we have the technology now to put out information within seconds, but it took 40 minutes for Hawaii to tell the residents and those who were vacationing it was a false alarm. Okay, we are not to have any more security in all things life. We see corporations shutting their doors, Sam's Club, 63 Sam's Club close their doors. They do not notify the employees. They do not notify the customers. You are now to think, okay, I'm going to go to the store. Hell, I don't even know if it's going to be open or closed. Employees going to work. Well, I'm going to get dressed and I'm going to go to work, but I don't know if I'm going to have a job. Vacationing or living in Hawaii? Next time you get a strike alert, how are you going to know if it's real or not? This is all deliberate to terrify, to terrify Americans. Deliberate. I will link below to this video, reaction from people in Waikiki to false alarm. People were running all over the place. People were crying. People were freaking out. Um, it, it, this one person or these adults putting this child in a storm drain okay the frightening thing for me is that when we have these kinds of experiences we get to see how freaked out so many people are now if they had their wits about them they wouldn't be so freaked out this actually uh, the, the reaction, what was happening in Hawaii, you should all watch because this is what is going to be happening when, whether it's false or not, we're going to see this kind of thing more often because they do want to break down our sense of security. You know, when people know who they are, when they're integrated souls, and certainly when they've given up that willful ignorance and have decided to actually face reality, and when they know what is actually taking place, well, then they know the world that we are living in. You cannot have any security. What you live today, well, is fine, but it may not be what you live tomorrow. You may lose your home due to flooding or a fire. You may be in Hawaii on vacation and suddenly you hear that siren go off and then you get an alert on your phone. Hey, ballistic missile incoming. Now, I don't know if that was the actual you know, language of the alert, but please use some common sense. If it takes them 40 minutes to tell you that it was a false alarm, that it was human error, oops, sorry, somebody just hit the wrong button. That's what this governor says. Oh, yeah, somebody just hit the wrong button, and it took us 40 minutes to figure out what to do. No, I'm sorry. And I also understand, you know, every event, it doesn't necessarily mean there's one purpose to the event. Event. So here, one of the purposes, freak people out, terrify them. 
keep Americans terrified always. The other may be to let you know that humans are now failing often. Human error, human error, human error. And the only way that we can ensure that this doesn't happen again is if we, sorry, um, replace the human with robots, artificial intelligence. Because the human being just doesn't have the intelligence anymore. I posted this video. It's two hours long. It is my taking excerpts from a very long article, New World Order Plans Exposed by Insider in 1969. Dr. Lawrence Dunnigan, in the early 80s, recalled what was said by Dr. Richard Day in 1969 at the Pittsburgh P Pediatric Society. Dr. Richard Day, an insider. He started his speech by informing all those present in the audience, you are not to record what I am saying, you will not take any notes, you will have not any paper, pen, or pencil. And there he was talking about the new world system. So Dr. Dunnigan recalled what he could remember about Dr. Richard Day saying in 1969. It is very long, the contents. Everything is in place and nobody can stop us now. That was back in 1969. See, this has been the boiling frog scenario going on for decades. People will have to get used to change. Population control, permission to have babies, redirecting the purpose of sex, Sex education as a tool of world government, tax-funded abortion, encouraging homosexuality, technology, families to diminish in importance, euthanasia and the demise of the pill, limiting access to affordable medical care, planning the control over medicine, elimination of private doctors, new difficult to diagnose and untreatable diseases, suppressing cancer cures, as a means of population control, inducing heart attacks as a form of assassination, education as a tool for accelerating onset of puberty and evolution, blending all the religions, changing the Bible through revisions of key words, the churches will help us, restructuring education as a tool of indoctrination, more time in schools, but they won't learn anything, controlling who has access to information, Books will disappear from the library. Laws will change. Encouragement of drug abuse and alcohol abuse to create a jungle atmosphere. Restrictions on travel. Need for more jails. And no more security. No more security. Crime used to manage society. Curtailment of American industrial preeminence. Shifting populations and economies, tearing at the social roots, tearing at the social roots. Families to be destroyed. No more security. American industrial preeminence. Gone. Stop it. Outsource manufacturing to other countries. Sports as a tool of social change. Sex and violence inculcated through entertainment, travel restrictions, implanted IDs, food control, weather control, and know how people respond so that they can be made to do what you want. Falsified scientific research, terrorism, financial control, surveillance, televisions that watch you, home ownership, a thing of the past, the arrival of the totalitarian global system. So you can say what you want about this. A lot of people have said, oh, it's all crap, it's all crap. Well, guess what? All of the crap has come true. It's come true. So you can read this, and or you can listen to me 
you know, taking excerpts from it, filling out, you know, what I just read to you, you know, which was like the table of contents. But it's all come true. So, no, we will not ever have any security again. It is a thing of the past. And these kinds of things will be happening more and more frequently. That's just the world that we're living in now. Radically changed from the life we knew. All things we knew are gone. Welcome to the new world order. And yes, when you do have an integrated self, when you do have Uh, when you live the principles that you speak instead of just speaking them and not living them, you know, that disconnect between what you say and what you do, when you are integrated, when you know who you are, you don't freak out. All links are below.